our motto that learning your joy and teaching a pleasure. Here we are with the remote teaching and learning process to bridge the gap. Happy learning! Hello students. Today we are going to see the chapter from Science and Technology Part 2. Chapter number 1 that is Heredity and Evolution. Students, we have completed the first three part of this chapters. Let us see what are the topics which has been completed in those three parts. The topics which are completed are heredity, transcription, translation, translocation, evidences of evolution, morphological evidences, anatomical evidences, vestigial organs, paleontological evidences, connecting links and embryological evidences. These are the topics which has been completed in the earlier parts. Let us see the topics to be covered in part 4. That is Darwin's theory of natural selection. Lamarckism, Speciation and Human Evolution. Let us start with the first part of this topic that is Darwin's theory of natural selection. Darwin has studied a varieties of plants and the varieties of animals. From this study, he came to the conclusion and stated the theory of natural selection. In this theory, he is talking about survival for the fittest. Now, what is this survival for the fittest? It can be better understood with the help of the example given here. In this picture, you can see three boxes are there. In all the three boxes you can see some moths are present. The first box contains equal number of black and brown moths. The second box contains more brown moths and less black moths. Whereas the third block contains all black moths. Now why is it so? Let us understand this with the help of a story. In a place called as Birmingham in England, there were found this black and moth, brown moths initially. This black moths or the dark colored moths were easily observed by the birds. As a result, the birds started eating the black moths. And since the number of black moths decreases, the number of brown moths increase that can be seen in the second box. In the same place, after a certain period of time, the industrial revolution began. And because of this industrial revolution, because of this number of increase in the number of companies, the pollution level also increase. Now the advantage of this pollution was that the black color fumes which is given out by the companies started floating into the nearby plants. As a result, the plants nearby gets covered with the black sooty flame. Now this black color was useful by the black moths for hiding themselves. As a result, the black moths can easily protect themselves in that black color so the number of black moths increases and slowly all the brown moths disappears from there this is called as the theory of natural selection or we say that survival for the fittest so that is the theory which is explained by darwin's in his book called as origin of species. Now, through this Darwin's theory of natural selection, 
he has noted down certain important points let us see all those points one by one the first point is all organisms compete with each other in a life threatening manner in this competition only those sustain which shows modification essential for winning competition besides competition natural selection is an important rule because nature select only those who are fit to live whereas the others perish sustaining and selected organisms perform reproduction and give rise to a new species that was the idea which was given by darwin in his theory of natural selection but unfortunately there were certain objections which was raised for the theory the very first objection said that the natural selection is not the only factor responsible for evolution secondly darwin did not mention any explanation about useful and useless modification and the third most important point was there is no explanation about slow changes and abrupt changes so that was a topic which was raised for the darwin's theory as a result this theory was stopped at that moment so that's about darwin's theory of natural selection in this next part we are going to see the next scientist the name of the scientist is jean baptist lamarck this is the great scientist who has given the theory of called as lamarckism now what is this lamarckism he proposed that the activities of the organisms are responsible for evolution he called it as the principle of use or disuse or organs that means the person who uses that organ it develops and if that person does not uses that organ or disuses that organ that organ degenerates now this theory of lamarckism can be easily understood with the help of the following examples and this picture you can see giraffe we know that the neck of the giraffe it become too long and that is due to the browsing leaves of tall plants they started extending their necks and for several generations after generation finally they reached to that particular level where they don't have to jump now for browsing so that is called as usefulness of that organs that resulted in the development of the neck the second example you can see an picture over here this picture is none other than the iron smith we know that the iron smith the shoulders become strong and the reason behind that is due to the frequent hammering movements and since their shoulders keeps on moving continuously you will observe that the shoulders of the iron smith are strong enough that is related with the use of the organs the same thing is applied for the people those who are there on the wheelchairs if you notice it down this people has got a strong shoulders because these shoulders are doing their work of rotating the wheels for them next example is of duck and swan duck and swan the legs become useful for swimming due to living in water whereas the birds like ostrich and emu 
wings become weak due to no use of that organ so that is about the property of lamarckism which was proposed by jean baptist lamarck and these are the examples which helps with this theory of lamarckism after lamarckism the next part is about speciation what is this speciation speciation means the formation of new species of plants and animals is the effect of evolution this species is the group of organisms that can produce fertile individual through natural selection besides geographical and reproductive changes are also responsible similarly geographical or reproductive isolation also leads to speciation that's all for this part of speciation the last part of the topic is related with the human evolution now this process of human evolution can be understood very easily with the help of this video this is how the history of human life begins it started from the in the form of a prokaryote in the water which was slowly slowly converted into an eukaryote this eukaryote slowly got modified and this modification got them converted into flat worms these flat worms started converting themselves and in the process of evolution they started converted into fish then slowly they started converted into bony fishes which in a process of evolution this fish started getting converted into a lung fish which finally starts getting slowly and slowly the evolution continued and got converted from a fish to amphibians that is from aquatic they started converted themselves into amphibians these amphibians started converting themselves into reptiles and birds these reptiles and birds started getting converted into homo erectus which finally got converted into a netherland man thank you